It's the first exam question walkthrough video on the periodicity topic. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay, so the first question wants us to explain the difference in the melting points of uh, sodium and magnesium. So it's all to do with the strength of the metallic bond and that's obviously the electrostatic attraction between a positive metal ion and a delocalized electron. So I've just got this generic diagram here for metallic bonding to help explain the answer. So the first thing to say is magnesium ions have got a greater charge than the sodium ions. So obviously magnesium ions are two plus, whereas sodium ions are only one plus. Magnesium would have more delocalized electrons. So for every uh, magnesium ion, there are two delocalized electrons in this sort of sea of delocalized electrons. So therefore the attraction between the uh, magnesium ions and the delocalized electrons is greater than between sodium ions and its delocalized electrons. Next one, we've got to explain the difference in the melting points of sulfur and chlorine. So we're told that sulfur exists as S8 molecules, chlorine as Cl2 molecules. So this one's all about the strength of the intermolecular forces between the molecules. That's what we're trying to break. We're not breaking the covalent bonds between the atoms. So the strength of the induced dipole forces, or the London forces, we can call them, is influenced by the number of electrons in the molecule. So S8 has obviously got more electrons than Cl2, so therefore it has stronger induced dipole, or London forces, between its molecules. And for the final part of the question, we've got to explain the difference in the atomic radii across the period sodium to chlorine. So there's three key things we need to talk about. First one's nuclear charge, so we'll just say that the nuclear charge increases due to the extra proton in the nucleus. Next thing we talk about is the number of shells. So in the same period, you've got the same number of shells, so you've got the same level of shielding. And then the final thing, as a result of th these two things here, there's a greater nuclear attraction in the atom as you move across the period. And obviously that will shrink it, it'll pull the electron shells in closer to the nucleus.